what are the wardrobe essentials that see you through the summer months? They're probably different for everyone depending on where you live, but there's always a few that you'll find in every well-dressed, elegant woman's wardrobe. I'm sure everyone would agree that a beautiful summer dress is an essential in a summer wardrobe. Everyone favours a different shape and there's no wrong or right style, it's whatever you feel most comfortable and confident in. A strappy midi dress always looks lovely for a really minimal look. This is such a simple style and this could stay on your wardrobe for years to come. I always think it's great to have a coloured dress in your summer wardrobe and I particularly like red dresses and I think this one is a really lovely shape and design and it's also made from linen. Dresses that are cut underneath the bus are actually quite hard to find which is such a shame as they can be so flattering. I really wish they were more available. The bodycon dress can look fabulous if you have the confidence to wear one and I do love them layered with a camel lightweight knit. Then there's the more fuller, swishier dress. This is my dress that I recently bought from M&S, which I did show you in a shorts video. I was undecided which colour to keep, but I went with the black one in the end because it was the colour that I felt most comfortable in. If you watch or read any videos or blogs about summer wardrobe essentials, they'll usually include a white shirt. It's such a classic piece that is just so versatile in the summertime. It looks lovely worn very simply with a pair of shorts and there's just no need to overcomplicate it. Just wear some sneakers if it's not too hot and it's an instant outfit formula that works every time. The white shirt can be worn over slip dresses or skirts or worn over swimwear for a very classy beach look or simply worn with some summer trousers. It's just a wonderful piece. If there was one colour of shoe I'd recommend investing in, it would be a tan shoe, either a sandal or perhaps even a ballerina flat. The tan shoe looks great on most skin tones and it really enhances an outfit rather than detracts from it. It can be a very classy addition to a summer wardrobe. I've always liked a nude flat and I still do, but the tan shoe looks a little bit more expensive, I think. One of my all time favourite colour combination is blue, white and tan. Add tan shoes, a bag and maybe even a belt and it can look gorgeous. I love tan shoes with all white too and it could be any combination, trousers, skirts, shorts or dresses. They are very classic colour combinations but the tan shoe complements most outfits, be it a sandal, a bally flat or a strappy shoe. I thought I'd combine shorts and wide leg trousers as one because I know lots of ladies don't like wearing shorts, but equally lots of women don't like wearing wide leg trousers. But hopefully you like one or the other and either are a great alternative for each other. Both can be worn exactly the same way. If you have white shorts or wide leg trousers, you could pair it with a blue top. It really looks gorgeous. And then maybe add some tan accessories. If you have striped shorts or wide leg trousers, Try pairing those with either a white cami top or a white shirt or even a t-shirt. If you have a coloured pair of either shorts or wide leg trousers, both can be paired with a beautiful white shirt. And another gorgeous colour combination is, is beige and white, which can again easily be recreated with either of the bottoms. It's great to have a midi or a slip skirt as part of your summer wardrobe to take you from day to night. They're a great alternative to shorts and they can keep you cool and comfortable at the same time. The midi skirt this season looks beautiful worn as a co-ord, but it depends on how you feel about showing a little bit of flesh between the skirt top and the bottom of the top. But the beauty of the co-ords is they can make so many outfit options. This skirt would look lovely with, with a vest style or body top or with a white shirt. It would look gorgeous with a one-shouldered top and with a t-shirt top, but it could also be paired with, with other colour tops and other bags. I mean, the possibilities really are endless with a midi skirt. Shoes do play an important part in an essentials wardrobe in summer. We need shoes that look good, but keep our feet cool and comfortable, but are also easy to put on when our feet are hot and bothered. And that's where the ballerina shoe comes in. These are the smart feminine option for a summer shoe. I already mentioned a tan shoe. Next is a black ballet flat, which will go with all your summer outfits. Red ones can add a gorgeous pop of colour to an otherwise neutral outfit and they also look great with navy and white. I'll forever love the two-tone Chanel shoes. They work with shorts, dresses and trousers in the summertime 
And then there's a printed pair like stripes or leopard print. These are mine from Color Shoes. These just add some nice interest to a plain white shirt shorts outfit, but they look great with white too and transition fabulously well into the autumn and the fall. I just thought I'd let you know that Color Shoes have a sale on right now with up to 30% off, which is a great saving. They've got a gorgeous pair of lilac suede ballerinas, which would look great in the summer. Imagine these with a beautiful white summer dress or with white jeans and shorts they'd look terrific. These ones are also in the sale, not this actual color, but in other colors. The shoes do sell out really fast, so don't hang around if you see anything you like. I'll leave a link to the sale in the description box below. I've already mentioned in general a summer dress, but delving a little bit deeper, a wardrobe essential you'll find in every well-dressed woman's wardrobe is a white dress. Undoubtedly, a white dress can look beautiful in the summertime. There's lots of different styles of white dresses and it's all really down to preference and budget. The off the shoulder dresses are great if you're wider on the hips. There's white dresses with square necklines which look very Bridgerton-esque and the small splits in the skirt always looks great. Shirt dresses come in a variety of styles with cutouts and long and short sleeves. There's the fuller looser fitting dresses. This is the same dress that I showed you in black at the beginning with a very swishy full skirt and it's fully lined which is a bonus. There's the tuxedo dress which looks smart and sophisticated. Maxi dresses are a great option for a more relaxed casual look. And then there's brodery dresses which always look so feminine and girly. Just like a white dress, a pair of white trousers are a wardrobe essential you'll find in every elegant woman's closet. Now, I haven't been specific about the style of trouser like jeans or linen, because for some, white jeans are just too hot to wear in the summertime. But thankfully, there's different styles of white trousers, so there's something out there for everyone. There's the wide leg trousers. Now, these look gorgeous with a blue shirt, like I mentioned before, or with a blue and white striped shirt. There's pleated front trousers, which look lovely warm with slides and a collared shirt top. There's tapered ankle grazer chino trousers, another nice casual style trouser which could be dressed up or worn casually. There's the wide crop pant which look gorgeous with belly flats and a blue and white striped shirt. There's lots of different styles to choose from other than denim which will make a great addition to a summer wardrobe. Slides are the perfect summer shoe, easy to slip on and more attractive than a flip-flop. I love the look of lace-up sandals but they do take forever to do up and then they can slip down and loosen so the slide is the easiest option. They can look great but some people don't realise that you don't actually slide in them. I have actually heard people long before I've seen them scuffing along, kind of sliding in them and it does look and sound awful but I do love a slide sandal for ease more than anything. Having just gone through a heat wave here in the UK, a sleeveless top has been an essential for me. Now I know lots of ladies don't like wearing sleeveless tops because they don't like showing their arms. So a top with a sleeve is the alternative. A bardo is a fabulous top to wear if you don't like showing your arms. It covers up that fleshy part of the arm and it's also great because it can balance out the hips if they're a little bit wide. So these kind of tops can be ultra flattering. They look good paired with shorts and midi skirts, with jeans and trousers. They go with everything really and they still keep you cool. To me, Joan Collins is the epitome of old school glamour. I love her style, she always looks so glamorous. She's nearly 90 years old, which I think is incredible. And one of her not so secret secrets to staying looking younger than she does is that she's always kept her face out of the sun by wearing a sun hat. There is a hat out there for everyone. A wide brim hat looks good and they come in different sizes. This one is big enough to shade your face, your body and probably a friend as well. In fact, you could replace a parasol on the beach. It is a little bit extreme, but if you want shade from the sun, that's your hat. There's baseball caps, sun visors, fedoras, straw hats. There's a hat style for every outfit to protect your skin from the sun. And of course, sunglasses are an absolute essential in everyone's summer wardrobe. Oh,